What is going on you guys? My name is Hugh and we are finally going to review the brand new camera setup for 2024. Now if you guys haven't seen the sneak peek of uh, the video we did a little bit ago where we denounced that we were going to put some money away to be able to get this new camera, don't forget to check out that video down in the description below and don't forget to stay to the end of it because we do reveal what type of camera that we just bought. With that said, allow me to introduce you guys to the brand new camera that we are going to be using for several years of content making. The Canon EOS R7. Now before we get into this unboxing video, I just want to let you guys know that this camera is probably the most expensive one I have ever bought over the years of, you know, using Canon cameras and video making content. This was a big purchase for me, and I've tried to do a lot of research to find what is the next massive upgrade, but also a similar um, spec like my N50 had. But enough of me rambling, I'll save the rest of the information for the end of the video. Enjoy the unboxing clips. Let's get a closer look at this bad boy. Alright, first and foremost, um, I know a lot about the camera, and I'm super excited about that, but that's what I'm actually going to save that for last. We got some other stuff that we need to unpack here, and one of them that I'm most curious about, this guy. This is the brand new Coma Cub Professional Audio Equipment VM30 Wireless, yes you heard that right, wireless shotgun microphone. So it kind of works like the little lav mics with the little microphones, because um, I have the set of two from the same company, and the microphone that's on my old rig, this guy, I've been using that for a long time on the M15. These are really good microphones, excuse me. These are really good microphones, um, especially if you want something like this where there's no battery stuff on it. You just plug it into the camera or your phone and you're ready to go. So enough said about that. I will leave this guy in the description, this guy in the description, and also the lav mics, uh, which I have the set of two. I'll leave that down there so you guys can go browse around, see which one fits your setup better. But highly recommend these guys. They are fantastic as far as the microphone industry right now. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this guy. So right out of the box, this is kind of nice. Every single one of their microphones, thumbs, every single one of the microphones come with a really nice uh, case to hold them in. So what do we got? We got, okay, this looks like the USB cable to charge it. Perfect, it's a USB-C, which is what a lot of microphones are using is the USB-C type, which is good because a lot of phones use this. So you, if you lose this cable, uh, you can get another USB-C cable and you can still charge this thing. Uh, so there's the mic itself. It's got a little bit of some heft to it. And this is all aluminum too, by the way. It's not that plastic crap. Ooh, I, is it kind of like a bluish uh, color to it? I kind of like that. That is a bag. <laughs> Hold on. I thought that never. Oh, no, no. Okay, there it is. I thought it was a bag. I'm an idiot. Uh, let me put this feather filter over it. So if you're outside and it's really windy and it's really annoying outside, you take one of these things and you slide it over this. I don't know how muffled that's going to be when, when it's all together. This is nice. So this is good if you're outside and it's really nasty and windy. This redu uh, reduces a lot of that wind too that's hitting the microphone so that's going to be super super handy on the back here these are different uh oh what is it called it, it's dbs but i forgot the actual name of it um this is the level of it so if you want it to go higher to capture like more quieter sound you put you bring the number up more it goes all the way up to 10 it's like a volume knob oh i see there's different levels here hold on okay so it's gonna get some used to here how do i uh turn it on do i just hold this button down i guess Oh, there we go. So just watch this knob as I raise this microphone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm like this far away from it. I'm going to raise that knob. Uh, let's go four. So it goes a little bit more louder. It's like, Yeah, like I said, it's like a volume knob. Oh, you can also, on the side here, hook it up to the camera directly. So if you said if you don't want to hook it up to this thing, uh, and let's say you already have this mounted to your rig, you could literally just hook this up straight to the camera instead. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see that. Okay, this is cool. So you can, uh... oh, hold on. Oh, that's sick. That's the thing you can use to hook it up to like a little tripod and you can set it up as like a boom mic. So on, oh, actually this is a perfect example right here. So, 
right here I have it hooked up on my lamp and that's kind of sick so you can actually use it as like a little PC mic yeah that's cool I see I might get two of these because of that function there we go I got it oh oh what the hell excuse you oh that's gonna come in super handy oh it even changes the adapter too so I can uh I think I can put it on yeah, I could put it on the stand, this microphone the Yeti is sitting on. That's sick! You there and you there. Sturdy. Sturdy as a rock, man. That ain't going nowhere. Oh, well, that's perfect. I like that. It's a PC mic, laptop, or whatever. It's a phone mic. It's wireless or wired. Oh my god, that's, that's awesome. Why didn't I think of this before? Like, this could be so useful for a lot of the stuff that I do. When it comes to microphones, at least for me, it's very, very important because especially for me when it comes to sound quality, getting rid of a lot of the nonsense as far as like wind noise or a lot of white noise, when it comes down to it, stuff like this is super handy, especially what I do. I'm getting more into like better films, uh, uh, storytelling with my films and projects and all that sort of stuff. Even for vlogging, this would be good for vlogging because it gets rid of a lot of like the environment sound. It just focuses on your voice. I actually can't wait to test this out as like a little PC microphone. So maybe we'll do a comparison video of this and the Yeti to see what the difference is. So now, this was a little unnecessary for me. However, I do really needed a fresh tripod. Um, for me, I needed one for the house, one for traveling, and then I have like a crap one that I use in the garage, which I don't care if it gets dirty or something. This one may be the new travel tripod. Uh, how am I gonna open this thing? This, this is gonna be awkward. Hold on, I'll figure this out. Oh, I forgot. It does come with a, uh, a little phone holder. Now I got two of them. One is on the rig right now from my Ronin uh, gimbal. And then I have this one. Ooh, that's sturdy. Ooh, I like that. That's actually pretty sturdy. It's not like limp or something. Oh, I, I thought they gave me two of these things for some reason. Ooh, that is cool. Oh, gosh. Yes. It locks. How do I... Hold on. Wait. Aha! Oh, good. I like that. It just sits and you just do that. That is so satisfying. And it's got a tilt function here. Let's see. How do I... Oh, there we go. It's got a tilt fun. So if you want to do a lot of vertical videos, you know, like YouTube shorts or something, you could tilt it that way. That's nice. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's going to be nice. I like how sturdy that is. And it's not like flopping around. Oh, that is, that is nice. What else is in here in the small package? Ah, there's the handle. Okay, perfect. There we go. So now we can loosen that up. There you go. Oh, that's so smooth. And you lock it. And I can kind of... Oh, I can do nice slow pans with that. Oh, dude, that's going to be sick. Whoa, something else in here. What is this? Oh, the legs. Oh, okay, that makes sense now. I'm going to have to feed it out this way. It's a very small desk we're working with here. Okay, I like the tilt on that. Oh, good, because then that way when you drop the tripod when you're down, when you're like sitting it up and stuff, it's not gonna wobble around anymore. It'll literally adjust itself. That's sick. There we go. Cool. Oh, okay. There's the handle as well. Oh wait, what? Oh, so you can carry it like that too. Oh, that's kind of sick. Oh, that is satisfying. Bruh. This thing is badass. This is a little tight. Why is this tight? Oh, where's the knob? There's a knob to loosen this. Oh, it's over here. Here we go. Loosen that a little bit. Okay, there we go. I gotta warm it up a little bit. I like these handles too. It's also because this pivots too. So you can do one of these. There we go. Now we warmed it up. Cool. So you get two of them now. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Very nice. This is the one thing that I like. that i like tripods that have flip clips like this because they're not they are really freaking sturdy because any of the tripods that you see that have the little twisting gears or whatever they are 
the tripod just it just slowly shrinks back in again and they just get weak these oh man that is not going anywhere all right i think i'm done gushing over this badass tripod that's gonna be this thing is a freaking unit right here so we got something kind of small here this is something that I wanted to get for the cameras. You can see I already opened it. I wanted to test fit it, and it works. So I don't know how to say that brand, but it is a adapter mount. So it's the EF to EOS R. Now, a lot of you guys probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about when I say EF and EOS. EOS R. R is the lens type that's on this new camera. It's the Canon R series. It's not the Rebel. It's not the ED or 5D or whatever you call it. Um, the R is the type of lens that these new um, full-frame cameras carry. You know, straight out of the box, it's called a kit lens. The EF lens is what's currently on my M50 that's hooked up to my computer right now. That's an EF lens. Now, I don't know what exactly the EF stands for, so don't judge me on that. I don't know what it means. I just know the type of lens and what it does and what it is compatible with. That's all. That's as far as my knowledge goes. That's the R, that's the R size uh, lens. And then this side is what's called the EF lens clip. So if you guys remember way, 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 way back in the day, I had a Canon Rebel T5i, which is one of my favorite freaking DSLR cameras ever. Until one day I got stolen, which sucked. And then I bought another one, which was brand new. And it's very hard to find a new one nowadays. Um, this is actually the lens that goes with it. It's the kit lens that goes with the uh, T5i camera. So now I got a little bit of some uh, homage to this. It's this camera, this new camera is gonna be a culmination of all the good cameras that I've had over the years from the T5i to the M50 to now the R7. Hold on, need another coffee break. Let's open up our new Badass rig. Oh, we definitely need to get extra batteries for this thing. Okay, so this also comes with a much bigger battery than my other cameras did. Actually, well, you know what? Hold on. It's actually the same kind of size battery as the, um, what is it? The T5i that I have. So it's about the same charge rate. All right, let's move this out of the way. Now, remember, I didn't buy the, the, um, lens with it because I already have lenses so I actually was able to save almost $400 on this thing by just getting the camera itself it's got the manual and autofocus button over here which I actually like because when it was up on top I accidentally keep bonking into it this case feels different you gotta do the bang test have to fold out screen just like my, my other cameras had and it does flip around whoopity doopity look at this that's nice because all the other cameras I had, I had to dig my thumb in the side piece here. This, you just gently put your finger in here. That is so satisfying. Now, if you want a full in-depth functionality of this thing, of what this little sensor can do, it has what's called a CMOS sensor. Uh, I believe it's also the brand new X digital processor that Canon launches on these cameras, which is very powerful way more powerful than the M50, way stronger than the T5i. They did say when you add a lens like this on here, it does give it some weight. And let me tell you, this thing weighs almost two pounds with that lens on there. But it is a good sacrifice because I like the EF lenses that come with Canon's cameras. They're like the best ones on the market still. Not only can this do the same quality at 60 frames, 1080p, or 19, 1920 1080p, 60 frames, blah, 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 FPS, whatever, it could do the same thing as the M50, but it can also do 4K 60 frames, no freaking problem. And uh, FHD, which is 1920 1080p, 120 frames. The reason why I went with this camera is the 4K function. First of all, because we're going to be doing a lot more 4K footage. This is exactly similar to the phone, to my S23, which I love the S23's 4K function. It is super fluid, super cool to work with. 
and I was like, if we're gonna upgrade, we need a camera that is able to keep up with the phone itself instead of using my phone for 4K because we can't hook microphones and stuff up to it yet because they haven't made anything. I needed a camera that can do just as good video, photos, whatever, and just be as flexible as far as the video selection as my S23 can. Now with that said, I did forget something. I bought a brand new SD card, because I remember, like I said, the SD card got stuck in my other camera. Whoop, there it goes. So we got a massive, massive 256 gigabyte SD card, which this can house, what was it, like six hours of 4K footage, footage and uh, it's almost 24 hours of regular FHD, FHD footage, which is fantastic, because we're not gonna be using 4K a lot, the FHD on this was good because I could just use one SD card to film anything in regular like uh, HD and stuff. Also, if you look on the side of this guy, there's two SD card slots. So what a lot of people do, which I, I may not do because I never had an issue with it, is put two SD cards in here and you can map the videos that you make on both SD cards or individual SD cards. That is sick. Now, obviously, since we got a massive card here, we don't really need to unless you do a 64 and a 64 and then just split it in between. With one SD card, you're good to go. I may put a secondary in here. So let's say I want like um, some pictures and stuff. I'll use one as like a picture card and one as like a regular video card because then I can just take one out, take the pictures off, take one out, take the videos off, blah, blah, blah. But that is going to be super handy because I can just split the job tasks between the two SD cards. Anyway, I'm actually going to do a separate video because I'm going to play around with this thing a little bit more, learn about the functions, get my settings and stuff set up on it like I did with the M50. Um, this is mainly just an unboxing video to reveal to you guys what we got going on, what we're dealing with. And this is basically what you're going to see be being used as far as video making. So that is the end of this video. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a separate video of uh, a demonstration between this microphone, the Yeti microphone, um, being used on the PC, which I'm very curious to see how well this performs um, being used as a uh, computer or laptop microphone. There is one feature on this camera that I do want to mention real quick before we end this video is the tracking system on this camera, you know, like the original face tracking and autofocus tracking and whatever. This has three extra functions that I think we're really gonna start utilizing, and it's vehicle tracking. Oh, you can imagine what I'm gonna be doing with that. People tracking, meaning it's not just one subject, there's multiple people in frame that it can focus on. Animal tracking, animal or product tracking. But mainly the vehicle tracking function because of the new uh, sensor, does a fantastic job tracking subjects and you can kind of guess where I'm going with this but that's for later on you will see what we're going to be doing with this thing uh, hopefully soon and uh, start making more content because we got some really good ideas um, utilizing this brand new setup with that said I will see you guys in the next future videos we'll be doing some pretty cool projects if you guys enjoy this video be sure to give it a fat thumbs up. Damn, I have done one of those in a little bit. You guys have an awesome rest of the week, and I will see you goons later.